So today I have some uh, new ink and some new pens and pencils from Karandash. And let's see what we've got. So I have this new pen. It's a starter fountain pen, a very affordable in the a price range of below twenty dollars. It's a Faber Castell Faber Castell um, two thousand and ten fountain pen from the Grip um, uh, range. This is a very nice and light plastic body pen with this extra fine tip, and I have the. Dash infrared ink inside of it. Let's see how it works. So the tip is quite firm but flowing. No issue with the color flow. Very, very nice. And look at that lovely, lovely infrared color. There we go. This is the lovely red color from Karandash. It's really pretty and vibrant. So, the pen is very easy to grip. There is a special form place for your fingers. This part has a little massage uh, dots. You're not holding the pen here, but it massages your hand a little bit while you write. Uh, if you put on the cap, it doesn't add too much weight to the pen so it will be comfortable to write even with the cap on the extra fine tip is just amazing it feels like a good sharp pencil in your hand but it writes much much easier and smoother the flow is amazing I have to say that for such an affordable pen it's very very surprisingly um good <laughs> surprisingly good and i like it very much you can throw it in your bag you don't have to uh, worry about losing it or having something happen to it and it's just lovely an everyday lovely pen so in addition this is my um, pelican pen this is my pelican 205 ruby star pen and today I have it filled with this new ink this is a perfect teal a Sioro Hiroshizuku by Pilot from Japan. I bought it on eBay Japan. It's very nice first because of the size of the bottles. They have it also in the big bottles but the small bottle bottles are very nice because I love to change inks and having such a big bottle is too much for me. And let's see what is the lovely teal color that we have here. This is also a pen with an extra fine tip. Uh, currently, this is my preferable size, so I rather use the extra fine than any other size. And this is also already was reviewed on my channel. This is a very nice pen and quite a small one. If you remove the cap, look 
how compact that is. And I just love this pen. It's also. But you know what? The Faber Castle tip is not falling from this one. It's really as good as this one. Look at the beautiful teal color. So those are my new pen and inks. The next thing I bought is the Crown Dash Fibrolo brush, water soluble ink. And it's a kind of, uh, no, it's only from this side. It's a kind of, kind of um, um, how do you say, it's a brush tip, but it's a pen or a marker. So you can uh, use it for um, all kinds of lovely writing and paintings look at this so basically the best use usually for this are lettering is lettering and uh, let's see So this is very nice, easy to control with the tip, you can have it as thin as this or much thicker as this and both will be very easy to control. So the tip is quite firm so you can use it to write as a thin tip but it's still uh, flexible enough to make the thick lines so it's very very nice brush you have the different variety of colors beautiful variety of colors and it's water soluble so I have this water brush from Crandash so you fill the barrel with water you push here to release water into this tip here we go we release some water and you can I just have too much water in here but for the purpose of presentation I want to show that you can have this brushes soluble with water and probably if you use it immediately after you finish writing you can make a very nice watercolor effect yeah that's nice don't mind the fact that it's gibberish i just want to see how it looks for the purpose of presentation so even on the other side of this paper it will not there is some shadowing but it will not pass through after the water will dry out it will be fine so uh, this is a Midori, a Midori paper, Japan, and a suitable for the fountain pens and different kind of markers and pens. A very nice, good paper. So in addition to these brushes, I have the Cran Dash. Um, luminous 
pencils. The pencils are with luminous vibrant colors and they have also a permanent permanent color in them. This is the Creme Dash certificate. So you cannot erase this. This is how it looks. A very nice wooden pencil. Everything by Crandash. So uh, the Crandash uh, I usually buy from Cult Pens, and uh, this range is uh, not familiar to me, but it looks uh, a very nice range of uh, pencils. And as you see, it's a high pigment concentration, intense bright colors, um, smooth and superior covering power. And you have the smoothness of a permanent lid. Okay. So again, as you see how very <coughs> bright and luminous this colors is really, really nice, smooth, and have a very beautiful color range. Yeah. So I have here um, the box of 12 and they come also in different uh, box sizes. Uh, as I'm trying this range for the first time, I took the smallest, the six co the 12 color box and it looks to me also enough for the time being try it out they have a very nice assortment of colors in here and I believe you can make <coughs> sorry beautiful paintings even if in your journals and they should not fade or be erased with time it's even UV UV uh, resistant so I think might be very useful for journaling yeah well, we have two more car colors there we go oh, three more colors yeah the white you cannot really see let's put it on something else like this and the black there we go how lovely are those really perfect I'm going to have so much fun using them okay guys so thank you for watching this is my nice review of pens and inks for today and see you next time bye bye